A Williston man channels his love for his country by working to spread patriotism all over the state. You knew this morning the ND flagpole guy will travel from Williston to Fargo and anywhere in between to install flags and poles. Becky Farr is here now with this week's Positively North Dakota. Good morning, Becky. Tim and Alicia, Jim Swartout started a flagpole business back in 2016. As a Marine veteran who comes from a lineage of veterans, Swartout says the business finally has him feeling like he's doing what he was meant to do. I wanted a flagpole, just something to, to represent the country. Brian Keith, a Williston native, knew just who to call. I'm the Andy Flagpole guy. In 2011, a job in the oil field brought Jim Swartout to the Peace Garden State. Well, when things went south, I had to make changes. And... Um, and uh, this has been the best thing I think I've ever done. It's different than I've ever done before. People put in a sidewalk because they kind of need one. People install a flagpole kind of because they need one because out of their heart, they want to express their gratitude for America. People like Keith, a fellow military veteran who is proud to show off the stars and stripes. I change out my lower flag from time to time. We all have. Right now I've got the, the law enforcement flag, the black and blue. I'll fly the army flag on it occasionally, uh, POW flag from time to time. Um, but I always have the American flag up there. It all started about three years ago when Swartout heard a man call into a talk radio show asking where to get a good flagpole in North Dakota. It burned in my heart for a couple of months and then we got licensed and insured and the day that my contractor's license came in and my business license came in, I got a, a, a flagpole installation for the city of Williston. Since then, the ND flagpole guy has installed more than 200 flagpoles across the state. It's worth mentioning that the poles and the way they're installed are of course made to survive the weather and strong winds in North Dakota. And on June 14th, Swartout will celebrate Flag Day the only way he knows how, by installing an 80-foot flagpole in Mandan. We should say, too, I like his business name. You know, I who do, you too. Call? Oh, the flagpole guy. Flagpole. Exactly. That's great. <laughs> it's catchy. Yeah. Thanks, Becky.